Hey guys, um, so this video is going to be my Florida haul. This is just um, some things I picked up while I was in Florida. Uh, I definitely think I'm missing a few pieces, but this is the majority of all the cosmetics I bought. And yeah, so the first place I love checking out when I'm in the States is Ulta. Uh, we don't have Ulta in Canada. Um, and I love checking Ulta out because I love looking at the Real Technique brushes. Um, most of you guys might know Real Techniques was created by Sam from Pixiwoo. And I love their channel. So I do have some of their brushes. So um, uh, I decided to pick up the... I don't know what it's called. It's called the Your Base Slash Flawless Expert Face Brush. But it, it is a face brush. I think it's meant to apply primers or foundations. And it looks like this. It kind of has more of like a, a flatter shape to it. And a little bit more domed. And yep, the reason why I bought it specifically was to apply uh, cream products, such as like cream blushes, bronzers, or maybe foundations. Uh, can definitely work for primers and foundation, but I'm never usually the fan to like uh, paint on my foundations, if that makes sense. But I really love the quality of the brush. Um, I believe these are synthetic hairs and super duper soft and dense. That's what I love. Uh, I also decided to pick up a lot of people recommended this. It was the brush set from Real Techniques. And I believe these are all face brushes. But the main reason why I wanted to pick up this brush set was the buffer brush, uh, which looks like this. I have used it, so that's why it is dirty. And I believe this can be used for foundation, powder, all that. Uh, it's definitely not as dense as my uh, Sigma one because it does look like it, but I like it just as much. I was using it for powder. Uh, and I did use it for liquid foundation, it does work well. I kind of like my Sigma one a little bit more for foundation, sorry, liquid foundation, but I like this brush nonetheless. And the rest of them, I don't, I didn't really care for the ones that came with it. Um, there's like a little concealer brush, a little foundation brush, and this uh, contouring brush, which is a nice tapered one. Um, I prefer this a little bit more for highlighting, but it does fit really well to contour if you're not using like a bronzer, but like a legit contouring powder. Um, yeah. That's just a little set. Uh, from Ulta, I also picked up the NYX uh, HD Studio Foundation. So this one. And the color I got was in uh, number 7, Warm Sand. So this is it. Uh, I have worn it once so far. I haven't really had a lot of time to experiment with it just because it's um, super hot in Florida. And then it was hot here. And I just didn't feel like wearing um, foundation. Uh, I do find this really comparable to the Makeup uh, Forever HD Foundation. The texture is very similar. Uh, I haven't really had a great chance to see how long it wears. Um, if it, it didn't really make my skin very oily, especially because I was in Florida when I wore it. But um, texture and coverage, I find it pretty comparable to the Makeup Forever. Uh, maybe not as uh, intense coverage, but uh, it's kind of like a light to medium uh, feel to it. So. And it comes in a pump, which is always a plus. From, what else did I get from Ulta? Um, I also got the Bare Minerals Advanced Protection SPF 20 Moisturizer uh, with the sheer tint for combination skin. So that bad boy right there. Um, I've seen a lot of great reviews about it. If you guys follow my blog, I did list it as my Friday favorite. I really want to try this one out. So I decided to pick it up just because it is cheaper to buy in the States, less taxes, all that. Um, and this is basically a moisturizer with SPF 20 and it has a little bit of a tint to it. It doesn't come with personalized shades, kind of like a one shade fits all. So it's a tiny bit too light for me right now, but, uh, it does have a really nice glow to it. So I don't find it so much as a tinted moisturizer. It just has a pretty kind of glow in it and it's not really, really greasy, which I kind of like. Uh, most SPF uh, moisturizers have that really weird white tint to it or it just feels really um, oily. This one does smooth on really nicely. A little goes a long way and as long as you just um, spread it evenly like a nice thin layer then it'll absorb into the skin nicely and it won't just sit there. But so far so good. It has a pretty strong scent to it which isn't my favorite. I usually don't like things with a lot of fragrance in it. But yeah. Um, okay, accessories. Uh, from Forever 21, I uh, picked up these bad boys. These are some studded loafers. I am so happy with this. 
Um, as you know, I think it was Jeffrey, Jeffrey Campbell that had the set it over for, for, uh, first, or, and then there was um, uh, Christian Louboutin and all that. But then, obviously, a lot of lower brands started making the same designs, and I picked up the ones from Forever 21. They're just black, um, full leather with like tiny little uh, gold studs. And I love it just because it's a really great um, alternative to having to buy the really expensive stuff. And yeah, and then also from Forever 21, I think this was my favorite purchase of the trip, uh, is I got a new purse. And it does have um, a strap as a uh, strap on it. I wear it as a crossover bag. I usually never wear totes in the summer, but um, I've always been looking for a bag like this. I had I saw one um, a couple months ago on Urban Outfitters, but for some reason I didn't pick it up, and it was on sale too. So this one looks very similar to it, and it is bigger. And yeah, fits everything. Has that great pocket in the front, great for useful stuff. Oh, my dog is here to join us. That's nice. Um, sorry, that is so awkward. Anyways, uh, so that's what I got from Forever 21. Surprisingly, I didn't pick up any clothes or accessories, which I usually do when I'm in the States because I have a great plus size selection, but nothing really caught my eye. Uh, next is stuff from Target. Um, I love Target. I know Canada is going to open a few in like the next few years, so that's pretty awesome. But every time I go to Target, um, when I go to the States, I love picking up like hair necessities, just like hair accessories that are necessities and it's because they're much cheaper than they are here at Shoppers Drum Mart like a pack of um, black elastics are like $8.99 I have no idea why but I got the Goody Ouchless the black hair elastics the thick one I also got the thinner ones these are I use all the time and yes I lose them all the time and then also just the basic little clips great for clipping up your bangs they're just great to have in your purse so um, I always love to pick up those when I go to Target and last but not least, I think, is from Sephora. Um, I didn't go too crazy with going to Mac and Sephora. I know buying it there is much cheaper than buying it here, uh, just for the way they convert their prices and taxes and all that. So I decided to pick up from Sephora the Bumble and Bumble South Surf Spray. I've seen a lot of great reviews on this on Sephora. Um, I know a lot of people talk about it. Um, it's basically a beach spray. Uh, when you spray it in your hair, it kind of gives you that beach look, the salt water dried kind of look. Um, it's best for people with naturally kind of like curly and wavy hair. Uh, for someone with straight hair like mine, it's um, kind of weird for me to buy it. But I did want to try it out because I see all these pictures of these like great um, kind of like loose wave hair and they have that great texture to it. So I can do the loose waves with like curlers and all that but I just can't get that texture to it, that like very casual, carefree kind of look. So um, I did pick this up. It is pretty pricey for a spray. Um, so luckily I know I'm not gonna be using it all the time, but uh, I've used it once so far and I love it. As long as you just don't go overboard. If you like spray a lot and start like scrunching your hair a lot, you'll, your hands and your hair will feel kind of gross. But yeah. And then the last thing I got from Sephora, which was like totally last minute, was the NARS pressed powder in Mountain. Um, NARS has two powders. They have the pressed powder, which is in this kind of smaller container. You can see it's like much flatter. Uh, the same packaging they put their bronzers in. Um, and the other powder is, sorry, um, my dog's walking by. The other powder is the one with much higher coverage. The one that people will actually use as a foundation itself. So technically this one's meant to be used for just like setting your foundation. Um, I was having a hard time debating between the two. Um, one of them much more expensive than the other, but I know quality and coverage kind of comparing it. Um, but I decided to get this one just because I know I never wear powder um, by itself where I need a lot of coverage. If I wear powder by itself, it's just because I don't want to wear a lot of makeup and I'm not the biggest, uh, I'm not very picky about uh, covering all my blemishes or acne scars or anything like that so I decided a sheer powder is a little bit better what kind of sucks is that this is the darkest shade they have of that of their um, pressed powder and it's almost a little bit too light for me I, you can't really tell because of the uh, the lighting but I got pretty tanned while I was in Florida so this one is a little bit too light I am wearing it now though so it's not too bad but it'll suit a lot better once the tan starts to calm down a little bit and I think that is it when it comes to my haul. Um, I honestly did not go as overboard as I usually do. I think when 
uh, Canadians go to the States to go shopping, you're like so overwhelmed with the sales and the deals and the taxes and stuff. So um, I decided to calm it down a little bit. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.